Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here, my name is Grace and I'm 22 years old and I live in York. Thank you for clicking on this video, it's a typical morning, what I get up to, um, as you'll have seen, I haven't done a lot this morning, usually I like to start my day off with swimming, but I just haven't been feeling too great recently, just a bit run down and I think it's those cold mornings as well that just don't make you feel great and want to get out of bed. So I have been doing a lot of yoga and meditation to kind of counterbalance the fact that I'm not, not off swimming. Um, I've also been going on a lot of walks, popping on a podcast and just exploring York. So it's kind of a win-win when I go for a walk because I listen to those really good podcasts. Um, I'm listening to some really good ones at the moment. Um, I'm just kind of winding down when I'm not working. I start working about half an hour, so I have enough time to do my makeup this morning and my hair. Um, as you can probably tell, it is gross and damp. Um, and that is because Friday is hair washing day. Um, and yeah, not fun, but it's got to be done. And I've let it kind of, well, I've put it back in a hair tie just so I can do my makeup. And then I'm going to try and not put too much heat on it. So I'm hoping it dries a little bit, but it is so cold in here that it probably won't dry a lot. Um, but I think just today, I just want to show you like the realistic kind of, I'm not going to say I usually have productive mornings. Um, but just showing you what I like to do, what I think works for me in order to have a sec successful and productive day. Um, I mean, because I haven't gone swimming, I'm already starting to feel like a bit stressed, a bit already overwhelmed. Like, um, I think swimming just really helps me clear my head and I'm quite... Um, I get quite anxious if I don't work out and exercise, which is very strange because I went through about three years at uni of doing pretty much no exercise and it was only with lockdown and restrictions that I actually kind of got everything together in terms of getting a healthy workout routine. Um, so the fact that I haven't gone this morning is a bit... It's a bit overwhelming, but I need to remind myself that just because I haven't gone once, it's not going to suddenly, you know, get all of that progress and wipe it away. Um, but that's just something I struggle with. And I want to be honest about that because I think sometimes you'll watch morning routines and they're straight out the door. They've got their running shoes on or their gym clothes on and... That isn't always the case with me, especially if I haven't been feeling well, um, which has actually been kind of hard because I was that person that used to just push through not feeling well, which is silly um, and basically make myself worse. So to not exercise, I've actually got to see that as an achievement because I know my body today can't handle it um, as I'm under the weather. But, you know, next week I'll get back into it and that's fine. Um, and you've got to allow yourself to recover but moving away from that I just kind of I wanted to have a bit of a chat while I do my makeup just to kind of you know say thank you for those of you that have been watching this is something I've been wanting to do for a while but I've been nervous and every time I record myself I would look at it and think well, that's not right. My hair's out of the way in that. My makeup doesn't look... And all this kind of self-critical thoughts, um, which I think a lot of us do. I think pretty much everybody battles with self-consciousness and all of that. And I've just finally got to a place where I actually don't care as much as I used to of what people think about me. Like, don't get me wrong, I still do. But there was a point where I couldn't do anything. I was so introverted and shy. Almost like talking to my family put me on edge and made me nervous. And I still struggle with that sometimes. And I I just have to keep reminding myself that 
you know, you're worthy, your voice is worthy, and it's been a long, kind of hard battle with myself to get over that, um, and I think I kind of battle with it every day, um, but it is just getting used to opening up to people and not caring if I make a fool of myself or embarrass myself. Um, so yeah, that is, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Just a thought I had this morning, um, as you do on a Friday morning. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm probably going to finish my makeup off because my brain has kind of hit a bit of a roadblock and I realise I'm probably babbling a bit. So I'm going to finish up my makeup and then do my hair and then get sat at my computer to do a bit of work. I finish at 11 on Fridays, so that is always nice to have a long weekend. So I will bring you along for the rest of my morning and show you what I get up to. It's now part of my morning routine where I get my breakfast and I am the kind of person that needs quite a substantial and filling breakfast. Um, even if I haven't exercised, I get really hungry in the morning and I don't want to be feeling all that grogginess and hangry while I'm trying to get some work done. So I've just boiled the kettle. I'm gonna make myself a nice hot cup of tea. Um, I usually drink a glass of no added sugar cranberry juice just to make sure that, you know, I'm getting some fruits and I, yeah, I'm one of those people that has three separate drinks with my breakfast. I have my hot tea, my juice, and water i try and drink about four bottles four 500 milliliter bottles of water every day on top of my teas and my juices and squashes just to make sure i'm hydrated and it's really helped with my skin as well so that is one of my top tips if you have acne bad skin even stuff like um headaches exhaustion in the afternoon um there's, it helps with a lot of things and it helps with your digestion and your bowel and your gut health. So drinking water, especially in the morning before you have any coffee, so you don't get the jitters, has really helped me with a, with mind clarity. And just, I think it's good, you know, everybody says drink more water. So see a sip, take a sip, make sure you're doing that. But I'm going to be making my usual porridge oats and these are actually new so they're vibrant oats. You can get these I believe at Morrison's and these are the raspberry and peach flavour. So they are bright pink but they are a natural porridge oat so I don't need to worry about any added flavours or preservatives. And then usually on top of those I add some stewed apples that I prepare and just freeze and they come out of the freezer as and when I need them. I usually cook them with a small amount of honey or maple syrup with a sprinkling of cinnamon and nutmeg and it gives them a really nice wintry flavour whilst also giving me some fruit. So I'm going to make those but while I do this I'm going to listen to some Christmas music. I've been using our Alexa on the morning and just saying Alexa play. <laughs> I'm going to get going before I get copyrighted. I've finished my breakfast and replied to a few emails and just in my little morning break that I get with work, I like to journal. Um, I think practicing gratitude and mindfulness has really helped me. Um, I was somebody that struggled with having very clouded thoughts in the morning and I don't like starting my morning with anxious thoughts and I think practicing gratitude really helps you align yourself with what you want and kind of see the positives that are going on in your life that maybe you hadn't even realized so I get some of my journal prompts off the internet and today I've got for the morning I have list three gratitudes what's working well in your life, what compliments can you give yourself, and a positive affirmation. So a positive affirmation can be something that is um, affirming to you about your life, it's um, 
I guess I could give you an example. So a po positive affirmation for me in the past would have been that I am living a life that I want to lead. And that basically means that I read it and I see it and it goes into my head and I try and implement that into every day. And I think this has really helped me as well as I used to be someone that would wish away the week for the weekend and I would only live for the weekend. And this has really helped me enjoy the small things in life, whether it's watching the sunrise in the morning or getting up and enjoying a cup of tea with a book or going for a walk and listening to a really good podcast. I've been listening to some great ones at the moment. I would definitely reckon, recommend him and her podcast. Um, and they are a couple and they have a lot, they have a different person on every week and they talk about mental health, um, physical health, uh, journeys, careers. Um, and I listened to one about a lion tracker recently in South Africa, which was incredible. So that's a great podcast. Girls on the Go is another one. Um, Brooke and Danielle are YouTubers and they discuss everything. Um, and they're really funny. So I think just finding a podcast that you enjoy as well and listening to that in the morning can really boost your spirits. Um, I'm either listening to a podcast or watching a Christmas film at the moment while I get ready for the day. Um, and that's really helped. But for now, I'm going to journal. And after that, I've got a bit of work to do. I've got a meeting. So a busy morning. It's 11 o'clock. I've finished work. And another part of my morning routine is I love to go on walks. And there's actually been a spate of no rain, no cold, no ice. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'm just going to go for a quick 10, 15 minute walk. I've got my Gals on the Go podcast downloaded. I'm going to put my headphones in and just go for a really nice walk. So I'm now back from my walk and I really enjoyed just getting out into nature and really calming myself, letting go of any work worries, any anything that's kind of pent up over the last week and really coming to terms and at peace with things and I just enjoy my daily walks. I think getting out when you can, even if it's light rain, putting on a rain jacket and just getting out there and putting a podcast on has really helped me. I think getting away from the four walls that I confine myself in day in, day out because I work from home is really great and it makes you realise that those worries that you have on the days where you are stuck inside are really just worries because you have nothing else to think about because you haven't been able to get outside. So I think going on walks, journaling, listening to some Christmas songs, watching a really cheesy, childish Christmas film has really helped in my vlogmas winter kind of journey and now that it's approaching almost 12 i'm gonna end off the vlog here but before i go i'm gonna introduce another routine and a another little hack that i love to do in the mornings just to make myself feel a little bit more inspired and happy if the journaling and the podcasts and the walks and everything else hasn't done it and that is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. So I am reading. I try and get in as much reading as I can every day. I think even if you can spare 10 minutes to read something, I think it's great. It's great for your mental clarity, mental well-being, good for memory. Um, and it's just great for brain fog as well. I think sometimes I get a bit panicked after I finish work and I just feel like I can't focus on anything. Sitting down with a book has really helped me relax and unwind. But doing that in the morning as well, I think is a great way to kickstart your day and just really set the tone for a successful, productive and happy day. So this is my favourite book of probably of all time. I think her descriptions of the Yorkshire Moors, the characters, it's it's incredible. So I'm rereading this. I'm gonna make myself a big cup of tea and just relax into my afternoon. So thank you for coming along on this Vlogmas winter morning routine. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.